If it wasn't for Micron, I wouldn't be standing here on stage hosting all of you tonight. Uh, Micron has supported Trailhead since our inception and to date has been our largest donor um, over the years. And so as one of the founding partners of Trailhead and our largest donor over the years, Micron really has stepped up its commitment of supporting a thriving ecosystem for entrepreneurs right here in Boise. And for that, I want to say thank you. Um, Micron has also made a statement and has launched a $100 million fund to invest in AI companies. And we'll hear a little bit more detail about that in just a minute. And I want to keep this brief because I want to give our distinguished keynote as much time on stage as possible. With that, um, about our keynote, before joining Micron almost two years ago in May, he founded SanDisk back in 1988, co-founded SanDisk, I should say, and then led the company and sold it as a Fortune 500 industry-leading company in 2016. My point is, he knows a thing or two about startups. And with that, it is my honor to introduce to you Sanjay Mirotra, CEO and President of Micron Technology. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Great to be here. Last time I was here was January of 2018, uh, and I was pretty impressed with the crowd there. Of course, several new faces, I believe, here today compared to that time. Um, and Trailhead is important to Micron, and I'll talk about it a little bit later as well. Uh, today, I want to just cover a little bit about my background. Um, then, uh, as part of my background, I came from India as an undergraduate student at University of California, Berkeley in 1976. I was a junior transfer from India. And I completed my undergraduate there in 1978. And then I continued at Berkeley for my master's, both in undergrad and master's in electrical engineering and computer science. And soon after, joined Intel Corporation. And this was in January of 1980. And those days, semiconductors were the hot thing. Just like, you know, last couple of decades, it's been about internet and social media and, uh, you know, uh, startups around uh, data and big data today. At that time, semiconductor was absolutely the rage. I was very excited. I was well prepared by Berkeley to engage at Intel. And um, two years into my job at Intel, um, the team that I was working with, actually my manager, he left to start a company. And I joined him as an employee there. And I was there for a good five, six years. I had a great time there. Then joined another uh, company, uh, which too had been a startup in Silicon Valley at that time called Integrated Device Technology. And in 1988, uh, as Tim mentioned, there were three of us who co-founded SanDisk. And we sold SanDisk in 2016 to Western Digital Corporation. Um, so I had a good 28-year journey from three-man startup uh, to almost you know, 10,000 team members at its peak and six billion in revenue. So today I thought with this group, uh, with your purpose here today, I'm just going to share some of my key takeaways from the 28 year journey from st startup to becoming a large company. And those of you that have entrepreneurship in your heart, hopefully we'll be able to relate to some of this. Uh, I'll try to keep it brief. I'll talk about four different uh, key takeaways. One, around the idea of a startup. You know, second would be um, around attributes that I consider are important for a successful entrepreneur. Again, they can be all different from different points of views, but this is just my point of view, my, uh, my key takeaway from my journey. Uh, third would be around importance of team, and fourth is about money and sources of money, which is critically important to startup. So first, around idea, that's extremely important. You know, my advice to entrepreneurs always would be that you better differentiate yourself. Don't try to do a me too startup. There better be some aspect of innovation. It doesn't have to be just about a technology or product innovation. Whatever your business model is, whatever market you expect to participate in, there has to be differentiation. And I would also say that you know, to have something that truly, at the end of the day, uh, addresses an unsolved problem 
and something that can have a big impact. If it is something that has a small impact, I think you can run into more challenges. So at least, again, doesn't matter what industry it is in, but target um, big impact. Differentiation and size of impact that you can make, I think, are pretty important in terms of idea rather than something that is me too. So particularly in case of SanDisk, when we started it in 1988, um, it was about flash technology. And today you use that flash technology in your but smartphones, you know, everybody, pictures you take, they actually go into the flash. You, I'm sure many of you, you have all, I'm, I bet all of you have used them in digital cameras, the imaging cards, they have flash, and USB flash drives, and today the applications are very many. At that time, the idea was totally a concept in the labs, so it absolutely had great aspects of innovation. In fact, so much so that some of the investors, leading investors in Silicon Valley, actually asked us to use that idea and try to do products that Intel Corporation that you used to do, and we actually turned that down, and we had our own unique approach, and we pursued that approach because we felt it truly offered differentiation rather than trying to do something very similar to others, and we thought that this technology is new, it will create a big market potentially in the future. I have to tell you, it created a market much, much bigger than what we envisioned when, um, we started this company in 1988. Uh, so idea is pretty important, and that's how it connected as a key takeaway from our journey that uh, something differentiated, something that can make a big impact, that can get big, rather than try to solve a small problem. Second aspect is, you know, attributes of entrepreneurs, and I'm sure that everybody will have a different story on this compared to their own experience. But what I found is passion, Conviction absolutely is key, passion and conviction. Also adaptability, because you will, for sure, whatever business plan you start with, you will encounter obstacles, you will encounter, especially if you are going after differentiation and trying to make a bigger impact, you'll come across um, need to change, therefore you must have adaptability as well. There has to be calculated risk taking, no guts, no glory, and you have to be, uh, again, if you're driving a differentiation, you will need to be taking risks. However, calculated risk, not being reckless with it, but have a plan and take calculated risk. And, you know, no question, you have to focus on execution. Ideas can be great, strategy can sound wonderful, but with lack of ex execution, you're not going to achieve the success. So I talked about conviction, and let me just share a story from my journey related to conviction that I thought stands out uh, in my mind. Um, early years at SanDisk, uh, we had the idea of using flash as digital film. And remember, this is 1988. This is really before internet became big, before digital cameras were becoming big, before digital film was known. Actually, you know, Kodak and, you know, chemical film is what was used by everybody around the world. We were defining the digital film. Kodak, actually, we were engaged with all leading customers, such as Kodak, Canon, Nikon, Fuji, and others. And at that time, Kodak proposed that we make that film an exclusive standard for Kodak. And I have to give our credit to our lead founder, Eli Harari, Dr. Eli Harari, who was the CEO at the time as well, uh, with the vision and the passion and the conviction that we said we do not want to create a film that is exclusive to Kodak. And just imagine that for a startup that is in its third or fourth year, and markets have not yet been created, for that startup to be offered by Kodak, which was absolutely a giant at the time, that you become exclusive for us, it's a great honor and could have been considered a great exit financially at that time as well for the startup and become a part of Kodak, but had conviction that this thing can be much bigger and that it will have a benefit of defining a film that is not exclusive to Kodak, but it becomes an open standard that can be used by all cameras, a film that can be used interoperably between an Icon camera and a Kodak camera, 
You, some of you probably know that early versions of that digital film were the compact flash card. And that's the compact flash card that SanDisk had defined. Again, working with these guys, but we made it an industry standard and everybody used it and certainly that led to a film that became a bigger opportunity much faster. So conviction in your idea, conviction, calculated risk that this can become big and pursuing it passionately could have easily exited with Kodak much, much earlier. The third piece, I would say, is uh, around team. As you well know, I mean, nothing happens without having a right team, and certainly founding team is pretty important. You know, team, if it become, brings diversity of experiences and complementary strengths and a good chemistry between the team to respect each other, trust each other, work with each other, that is, there is no doubt, absolutely a key to any successful startup. We had a team that had tremendous, uh, you know, complementary strengths. We started with a technology and product idea. Our lead founder, Dr. Ali Harari, was a well-known device physicist. Um, and the second co-founder was a process engineer and I was a designer. So we covered the basis to deliver the technology and really make sure it works. And we had great chemistry with each other. And of course, the team that we hired in the early days and over the years was extremely important that it all gelled together well. But important aspect of that team also was diversity. Of the three co-founders, one from Israel, one from China, one from India. And that diversity also, I believe, really truly led to greater creativity, greater openness of mind and trying to understand each other. So team and team dynamic, team chemistry, complementary strengths, um, and ability to bring diversity of ideas and have open discussion, extremely important to a successful startup. And the fourth um, aspect, is, uh, what did I say earlier about the fourth aspect? I forgot now. Money. Huh? Money, yes. <laughs> Most of you are about money. So regarding money, clearly the sources that you raise the money from, extremely important for a startup. And you know what I like to say is the source of money that you bring in, don't take just the very first source of money. You have to find source of money for an entrepreneur that truly believes in your ideas and can add value to you rather than just look at it as an investment and expect just a big exit. Now, I know that there are probably many angel investors in this crowd, but I'm just speaking from the point of view of entrepreneurs' source of money that really, uh, in t and this is important because every startup uh, doesn't matter what industry you are in, I believe does face tough times. That that's when you need um, whoever gave you the money or your sources of money, uh, you need to be able to lean in on them as well as count on their good advice and not have them crack under the pressure when you are running out of money to support you well. That's extremely important. And for us, you know, certainly it was, uh, uh, really, really important, and there was a period of time when uh, the company was probably two, three weeks away from paying its payroll, and that's when SanDisk actually took some investment from Seagate, which uh, Seagate at the time, and I'm really talking like 1990s time frame here. And which turned out to be a big win for them, but it was a good source of money for us because uh, even though they didn't understand our industry, but they had the wherewithal, they had the patience to really cope with what we had to do to drive our technology and our products. I really believe that, and I have done angel investing too, and I think it's pretty important for me as an angel investor to make sure that uh, what I invest in, you know, I understand it and that I'm committed to it and that I can add some value to it as well. Otherwise, you might as well play the stock market, right? Um, so these are four important attributes that I feel are important for any entrepreneur at any stage, whether you are a starting entrepreneur or, you know, at any time along your entrepreneurship journey. 
Second piece, I'm here, so of course I have to talk about Micron. And you know, if, uh, I know that you should know Micron pretty well, but I cannot miss an opportunity to boast about Micron. We are very proud of the company, very proud of its startup roots here in Boise. Certainly a great example of driving innovation right here from Boise, a company that has created over its 40 year history, has contributed 40,000, nearly 40,000 patents to our industry. And just think about it, that translates to about three patents a day. I love that statistic because it speaks volumes about Micron's le global leadership and its innovation capability and its strength for driving the future as well. Um, and you know, it's very humbling for me to think about that this all started right here in Boise. So very proud of our affiliation uh, with this city and just reflects the deep roots of uh, Micron. Of, of course, we are a global leader in memory and storage. Memory and storage is critical today in uh, end market applications such as your smartphones, as I talked about earlier, data centers, uh, autonomous features in vehicles that you are using today. They rely on memory and storage, and you all have heard of driverless cars in the future. Those will be like data centers on wheels. And of course, with 5G coming on, you know, that's going to drive greater connectivity that was going to spawn a whole new class of billions of intelligent devices, what we call at the edge. That means in your hands, in your home, in your factory, around you, in your car, everywhere. I mean, there will be all kinds of devices that will rely on the fast connectivity that 5G will enable so that it's not just going to be about your phone. It's going to be about machines that are connected together, homes, cities, smart cities, smart homes smart factories, machines that are going to be connected together. And of course, you all have heard about artificial intelligence revolution. Artificial intelligence, there is no question. It's going to be the next biggest thing, I believe, since the invention of electricity for the mankind. The revolution that it will drive over the course of next 10 or 20 years, and we have barely seen the tip of the iceberg on this, is going to be key. What's exciting for Micron is that things like Internet of Things, IoT devices at the edge, those tens of billions of devices that I referred to earlier, things like cloud computing, data centers, artificial intelligence, all of this actually drives a virtuous cycle that all relies on more data. Think about it, artificial intelligence is going to be intelligent and it's going to make an impact only if it has great insights from all the data. All the data that we will all create and all these Internet of Things will create will actually feed even more innovation. So ultimately, data centers, these Internet of Things at the edge, with the backbone of artificial intelligence, we say this will create a virtuous cycle that will really drive greater demand for memory and storage, because memory and storage is where data lives. These are the products that Micron pioneered, and this is what Micron is all about. So this is really the exciting time. I like to say best is yet to come for Micron. It is best is yet to come because you know these applications, these opportunities, things like AI, things like 5G, and these diversified end markets, you know, from smartphone to autonomous vehicles and to data center, these will be huge for our business in the future. Of course, uh, you know, we are not alone in this. We have strong competitors too, and we have to make sure we continue to execute. But yes, that execution, the foundation of it, the base of it is right here um, in Boise, but we are a very global company today. Um, so, uh, you know, when we talk about our vision, our vision really is uh, transforming how the world uses information to enrich life. So I hope when you think about artificial intelligence and the kind of effect it can even have on healthcare with all the data that is from all the past and new patient studies, et cetera, that can solve some of the biggest un unsolved issues such as, you know, finding cure for um, cancer, these kind of things will happen over the course of next few to several years. And what we do in terms of providing solutions for data that make for fast computing possible, provide ability to work on a lot of data is going to be hard at the heart of this 
artificial intelligence movement of the future. So very exciting for us. So when you think about these big technology trends, of course the startup ecosystem is extremely important, right? Uh, we all have seen over the course of last 50 years that so much innovation is driven and a lot of it absolutely came from startups. Micron itself was a startup 40 years ago. So we value startup ecosystem very much. And I'll speak to it very briefly just from two aspects. One is Micron. In fiscal year 18, that ended last August, a $30 billion company, for a company this large, it is extremely important to have a startup mentality within the company as well. Not easy, I have to tell you, it is not easy in a large company to have a startup mentality, but it's important because you want to make sure if anything is going to disrupt you, you better find that disruptor within your, yourself. And therefore, there is always uh, a team that has to be working on innovations. It has to absolutely be thinking five to 10 years out and has to start work in a startup mode with that tenacity, with that passion, conviction, or risk taking, as well as focus on execution, some of the values that I talked about earlier. So disrupting yourself and therefore having a startup environment within a large company is very, very important. Are we doing the best job at it? I wouldn't say so, but it is something that uh, we do focus on, we do well on, but I think we can even do better. And that's how you have to be, even as a large company, you always have to be dissatisfied because that's when you truly have the best shot at making sure you capture that disruptor. Other aspect is that it always, that startup mentality within the company helps you not only find that disruptor, but also it helps you diversify into new markets and perhaps strengthen your own business fundamentals and figure out how to do things better. So having a startup mentality to Micron, within Micron, across all our sites across the globe is important. The second is we love that the communities that our companies, our sites are in, that there is a strong, thriving startup ecosystem in. And that's where this engagement and Micron really being a founding partner of Trailhead really connects with our beliefs. And that's important because, you know, a thriving ecosystem in a community absolutely brings greater creativity. It's, it adds um, it to, um, it attracts talents. It attracts the very best talent. It helps develop the best talent. You know, of course, company like Micron can risk losing some of his team members to the startups too. But frankly, that's okay, you know, because we will have opportunity to gain some of the talent from a strong startup ecosystem as well. So it really provides for drive and culture within the community of um, greater creativity, greater passion, greater sense of accomplishment, making a difference to the world, and greater you know, execution, uh, success mentality, all of that is goodness for any community and certainly a company like Micron benefits from that kind of ecosystem and we love to contribute toward the growth of that ecosystem here in Boise as well as we love it in the sites around the globe where we uh, actively have participation with the communities. The second aspect um, that's also important, of course, is a strong ecosystem in any community provides for greater benefit, better economy in that community, provides certainly for jobs as that ecosystem feeds on itself and becomes a bigger and bigger ecosystem. Uh, so these are all important aspects. Therefore, we love to partner with Trailhead and would love to see this uh, community here in Boise grow and drive uh, greater startup mentality and Micron will of course always be there uh, to support and uh, promote the startup ecosystem here. So with that, I think I would just like to end my comments and would like to move on to, I guess, the three pitches that we have to hear. But Tim, I think I'm gonna pass it back to you. Where are you? Yeah. Okay.